Hey guys, welcome to my new video. Would you like to have as much FPS as I do? Then watch the full video because I will show you how to exactly that get the same amount of FPS as I do. So we will start with installing sodium and lithium to our game because this will uh, boost your FPS so much. So the first step is to go to my article. You have the link in the video description. Just click on that and then it will take you to this article and you can actually read it if you want and uh, scroll down and uh, just download the sodium fabric and uh, fabric ap from these links and there's the, also the second article for lithium so make sure you download it as well then take the files and drop them on the desktop just like i did and what we did no need to do now is to go to the video uh, windows search bar it's here and uh, type in percent app data percent and hit enter on our keyboard. This will open up the roaming folder for us. And once you are here, you can go to that Minecraft, scroll down until you get to mods, open it up and then take uh, these three mods and drop it here. So in the mods folder, you need to have sodium, fabric AP and lithium mod. You can also copy this path, just uh, choose your name here. So if you're name is Dominic, you use Dominic and uh, then just press enter. It doesn't work for me because I don't have that user here. Then go back and scroll down more until you get to versions. Now let's double click on fabric installer. It will open up uh, the installation for fabric and we need this, otherwise it won't work. So open it up and wait for it. It will open up uh, this window and for me the Minecraft version is 1.20.1 but uh, if you are watching this in the future you can choose 1.20.2 or 3 or 1.20.1 it doesn't really matter just use the newest version that you are having right now and just press install and as you can see fabric loader for 1.20.1 has been successfully installed so hit ok and then make sure that you see fabric loader 1.20.1 here in the versions folder let's open up minecraft launcher now and uh, wait until you get there and uh, we will need to do some things uh, in the launcher as well because we will allocate more ram so first step uh, just select fabric loader 1.20.1 and then go here into installations and you can see the fabric loader here and click the three dots and edit this will take us to the edit installation and we can click on more options and here you will have uh, XMX2G and uh, the 2G means uh, gigabytes of RAM so for me it's 8G and I will explain why if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM you will use 8G like I do because you will allocate 50% of the RAM if you have 8, 8 gigabytes of RAM, use 4G, and if you have 4 gigabytes of RAM, use 2G. And uh, this this doesn't really matter on how much 8 gigabytes of RAM you have. Just always use 50%. Okay, so if you have 36 gigabytes of RAM, you will use 18G. So just choose uh, the, uh, the your amount of Gs you want and hit save, and then we can select play. So I'm in the Minecraft right now, as you can see. And uh, actually I have installed the sodium and lithium, as you could see. And the first step for us is to go to the single player. So go into your world, wait until we get there. And once we here, uh, I can show you how much FPS I have right now. So I have around 100, okay. And I will show you the result afterwards. So hit escape, go to options and video settings and let me do the magic. So if you want the most FPS out of this as possible, yeah, then use 8 as render distance and simulation distance as 6. Okay, 8, 6 is the best. Uh, then the brightness should be on 100, so bright. Uh, GUI scale 0, it doesn't really matter, and also make sure that you enable the full screen. This will help you so much. And if you want, you can enable the VSync as uh, if you want, because 
it may help you to gain some more FPS and also if you are having like 400 FPS but your monitor is 75 Hz or something like that it will just lock on 75 and then you won't have those lag spikes, spikes. so I don't need that if you want you can use that max frame rate uh, I will leave it on 260 view bobbing I will leave this on because it doesn't really impact uh, the performance if, if we turn it off uh, check how it looks like when you are moving it, it looks really bad so let me turn that back and now when you are when you are walking you can see it looks completely different and much much better so let's get back and we can leave on the auto save indicator so go to quality and the graphics so leave the graphics on fancy and turn off the clouds also but you can turn it on if you want it doesn't as you can see it doesn't really impact the performance but I don't really l the, like the fast clouds so I leave that off uh, weather let's get that to fast and leave as well so particles uh, the minimal is the best but I use decreased because uh, for me it, it's the best option for me but I believe if you have a really low low end PC you should use minimal the smooth lighting uh, definitely turn this off and biome blend uh, let's get to one entity distance we can leave it on 100 it doesn't really matter and uh, turn off the vignette and map, 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 map levels zero let me apply the settings and if we go to performance you can see the chunk update uh, we can leave that on default because as you can see the performance impact is high we can also disable the entity killing and for occlusion. So the last setting to adjust is, the, is here in the advanced and that's the CPU render ahead limit. So I always get this to the maximum amount as possible. So for me it's nine because uh, it, it uh, adjusts more uh, render render cores from the CPUs and it works much more better trust me so just use maximum amount for me it's nine you can have four or five I don't know so hit apply now and let me let me check how much FPS I have now so over 300 500 400 okay and when we started I had around 100 as you could saw so this has helped me so much to gain much more FPS and as you can see I don't have any likes and I believe you won't have that too. So thank you so much guys for watching this video. I hope I have helped you. If you have any uh, issue or anything like that, if just you, you have lucky Minecraft and stuff like that, just let me know and I will help you because there are texture packs for uh, low end PCs and stuff like it so I can definitely show you how to use those with these settings and then you will you can play the Minecraft without lags. So thank you so much and see you in the next one.